Hello everybody, it's Ultimate Clay and welcome to Super Mario Galaxy 2! Wake up Mario, jeez! In the last episode, we actually finally finished the backtracking comments of disaster from past galaxies that we already did in the past episodes. A AKA the comet star, AKA the comet stars of those galaxies and actually got some extra stars doing it. Up to now. So in this episode, after backtracking to all those past galaxies, and their very challenging dickish comet metal, I mean comets. I guess we continue on on world 3 with our two new galaxies, aka the bonus galaxy that we'll pretty much have to worry about later with this hungry Luma. And starting right now, Foxy Flake Galaxy! And I hiccup twice. Okay, and this one is Foxy Flake Galaxy Bowser's on, on, on ice. Jeez. Bowser on ice. Ah, Bowser! He's really oh, he's really on ice. Hey, at least this time he's chilling. I hate myself. I just really do. Uh, so the gimmick of Frost of yes. wait, what? Jeez, I'm saying this wrong. It's Freezy Flake Galaxy. Frosty Flake. Well, that's another name for. It. I bet you it's in the Japanese version. Gimmick of Freezy Freezy Flake Galaxy is that basically. Every, Many of these planets are made of snow, and pretty much you cannot. And pretty much there's a whole lot of specially neat stuff with it, with this that you can pretty much do and stuff. And there's stat, and there's these weird statues throughout the galaxy, like these Goomas over here, made out of snow. So I pretty much like this galaxy because they pretty much made the snow s graphics and stuff all quite awesome and stuff. It's quite fun and really. And I mean, you can actually make footprints of the snow while Mario's running and stuff. Hey, dude, I was just annoying you for a sec. Those weird snow cre creatures give me the creeps. I'm too scared to leave my house. Okay, Big Sean. Jeez, I never knew you actually have a fear of snow sculptures. Anyways, we got this Fire Mario here. That was from the first game. And Mario once again, and you can actually, like, Destroy those sculptures of those Goomas over there with Fire Mario and stuff. But you can actually just do that by like just like you can pretty much destroy these sculptures of Fire Mario and stuff. So yeah, that's how it's used for this galaxy. You can pretty much destroy these things. And I got a Bowser, really. And I got a hit, really. A coin, really. You know that fan for star bits. Now, on this planet of the galaxy, what they want you to do is actually like create a hardcore snowball like this by just rolling it down while you're moving. Also, if you actually like, if you actually slide to the right corner and just try to like climb this very deep hill, you want to with a pack of star bit, like with a little smile of star bits over there. All right, let me just show you. Okay. Like, all you have to do is just go over here, go to the steep, and voila! A one-up in that slide with a ring of star bits. Even though I'm not really interested. Uh, here you go, Snowball. This really references another thing, aka Simpsons. Uh. Now, aside from... Oh, I paused it the wrong way, jeez. Now, also, Freezy Flake Galaxy got two missions as well, but pretty much there's actually a hidden star of this galaxy in the second mission that we'll be showing later, actually, just to so note that out. Now, you can actually just spin the snowballs and stuff and all, like, send them flying, and what they want you to do is that, yeah, is that they want you to spin the snowballs to bang them against Bowser and stuff, and, like, smash them to them in order, like, we can... In order to like, destroy that Bowser statue. You can pretty much do that, but there's actually a speed running tactic that you can actually do. And this speed running tactic becomes very helpful a little later in the same mission of the same galaxy. You just need to take Fire Mario and just like use your fireballs at the Bowser statue and it just instantly just It just instantly like breaks and stuff. It can, it's instantly destroyed after like two or three fireballs. It's that easy. So that's a, so that's a faster way to win. You can might call it this uh, ultimate speed running tactic. Kind of. 
Not really. Psst. Okay, now in this planet galaxy, they want you to pretty much try to like use Fire Mario once again in order to pretty much destroy some blocks that are made of snow like this. You you can only destroy the blocks that are made of snow and stuff. With these blocks, you can't. And even though, even though the, you gotta destroy blocks that are made of snow, these things can still crush Mario and instantly kill him. So you gotta be very careful. Like, not to get near enough for it. Also, there's actually a con- Oh, I thought there was something creepy on- Jeez. That was just another guy- That was just the way we came. Look, kinda scared me for a bit. Um, there's a Comet Metal somewhere. Over here, yeah! We actually, like, break these blocks over here. You actually can find a Comet Metal with that- With that little hole with, of bricks. Is that that little square hole? And what you really must need to do is got least before I mess it up with this stuff and I should have near recharged Fire Mario, which I try to be lazy for, but I screwed up. Um, is that you see that green little pipe shaped thing over there? Break the, I mean, break the, jeez, break the ice brick between them and stuff. And there's a over here, jeez, jeez. I'm saying it's so stupid and stuff, jeez. Like my language and stuff. Now, pretty much for this final planet for the star mission of this galaxy, they pretty much want you to do the same thing as you did on the first pla as the second planet of the galaxy. Pretty much after that, Bunny Rabbit saying Boy Young as Big Sean and stuff. They want you to just roll these snowballs in order to attack that Bowser's shoe, while being very aware with the with the lava and stuff, and actually use the snow on the snowballs in order to, like make a nice platform for you. Send the snowballs and stuff. Pretty much through the lava and stuff, since you pretty much cannot roll the snowball while you're in lava. And like, send, send it all the way to like Bowser statues in order like spin, bang that snowball that you just re-roll in order to make it stronger again at the Bowser statue. They want you to do- Oh, now! Am I seriously gonna die? Am I seriously gonna die? Am I seriously gonna die? I thought I was actually gonna dare double this one. Oh, I took damage! I don't dare double this one. Oh, I need money to live. So die already. Okay, they actually want you to do now. Oh yes, you need to do all that absolute work, all in hell, with a couple of snow in it, uh, of hell. They want you to do all that, whereas you can actually do the same ultimate speed running tactic as on the second galaxy. Grab the fire flower that's actually over there in this planet and become Fire Mario and just flame ball that stupid chilling Bowser. I mean, sure, you may be cooling down for once, Bowser, but you're still gonna get burnt. Top those puns! B I G. B I G. <laughs> Big Sean. And after destroying that statue, you get your star and booyah! Which I was actually supposed to save the Booyah for Haunty Hall's galaxy back at that other episode. Right. Yeah. After Rocky Not Star, it'll lead to a new galaxy of World 3 that we'll deal with next episode. And that's it. Okay, now going back here and stuff, we're actually into the second mission of Frosty Flake Galaxy. Not, we're doing the bonus hidden, we're doing the hidden star of Frosty Flake Galaxy, which is the second mandatory star mission. So, bar to the reception. And to spoil it, this, and even though we're not gonna do it right now, in a minute, it's a mini boss fight. Just to spoil it. Somewhat. I mean, it's a barley. It, who, bo like, who saw barley? And can I actually pause it right here so I can? Who's so bitty? So bitty, jeez. Someone said there's a snow monster with a red nose out there. I can't go outside with that thing on loose. Hey, at least he ain't big Sean and just said boy. Now on this second mission of this galaxy, they. They act like 
between, like, and the difference between the first and the second mission of this galaxy, on the first mission they actually give you Fire Mario, while, as this mission they give you Rock, Ma Rock Mario. And even at Mario, they actually, you can actually do the same job at Mario and just pretty much break them and stuff. You can't actually burn them and stuff, but well, alright. Now, on this galaxy, jeez, I mean, not cheese. Get this die. Hey, focus on my luck. Hey, focus. That sucks. These are get star bits instead, yo. Bowser, you suck. So does Peach. <laughs> so does John. Ah, uh, this dude. I hit a bunch of star bits in the snow. Can you find them all? <laughs> Big Sean, why do you have to do this to me? Why do you have to do this to me, stupid buddy? Why do you have to, like, trip on everybody? With your Big Sean impression of that. This is BS. So, so, if you're pretty much, like, if we were supposed to actually, right now, do the second mandatory star mission of this galaxy, instead of the hidden star of this galaxy, in this way, we find five of these star chips in order to perform a large star to send you to the next galaxy. I mean, to send you to the next planet of the second star mission of this galaxy. However, in order to rock the hidden star of this galaxy in this planet, actually, is that you like rock a uh, rock against these trees. Huh, rock against one of these trees. And find money! No, 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 no. There's no Humpy Luma that wants coins, unfortunately. And, jeez, which tree is it? I think it's that one, actually. Aha! Bang this tree! I mean, just bang this tree and pretty much destroy it, and you find this pipe. Which will lead you to this dude! Switching from Big Shard to B.O.B. Perfect! Oh, crack. What the hell's wrong with me today? Well, well, well. You drilled into the dimension of the chip. You heard about my gaming skills, right? Today I got a little challenge for you. Just skate and bump the enemies. Watch out for the spike ones. Simple enough, right? So you're ready to experience this? No, okay not. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll give you the star if you can get 500 points or more. Good luck. So in order to get the hidden star of this galaxy from the chip, we need to rock his demon. I'm pretty much bumping into these guys over here. You yeah, bump into these guys and just try to like get as much of them as you can. And the golden ones of, of those guys actually call five times as much, aka 50. Whereas gotta do is that whereas gotta do also spike ones, they can actually like slow you down and stuff. Oh. Ow! And just when I said that, I bump into two of them in a row. Give you enough time in this, also. Like, you work down to eight seconds. Oh, I'm screwed! Yep, of course. Balls! Too bad, you got 340 points? No insta kill! Yay! At least they. At least Miyamoto wasn't the complete to this game! <laughs> and I think I can do this. I think I can do this on screen, but I'll pretty much cut to my correct attempt if I screw up a whole lot of times. My only hint for this game of the chimps is that you just need to like skate fast and stuff, and like pretty much use the power of your nunchuck actually. Like you, you can you can actually skate. Mario even faster keep on like if you keep on spinning and stuff and oh no Dang it I was this close Too bad you got 400 for the points want to try again <laughs> Oh, I'm getting more racist by the second. I feel like an idiot. I feel like a dummy. Jeez. Oh, 
I was actually about to cut my correct attempt. I got on the third try. Awesome. You got 510 points? I guess that qualifies you as my shining rival. As a shining rival. I mean, not like it, but I promise. So you can take this star, yo. I just added you in there just to make it look more awesomer. And shining rival, really? Jeez, this ain't Sumer Sunshine. The same as Saiyan Miller. The same the female version of Chuck Conway. The same the. Computer virus, this is a star! Booyah! <laughs> oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? I am going crazy. And I'll pretty much see you guys back at I'll pretty much see you guys back at the second star mission of a uh, uh, Freezy Flake Galaxy, not Frosty Flake. And where I was at. Okay, so see you later. <laughs> Holy smokes, you're not even plus Luigi, actually. Yeah, I can actually feel like it. I feel like playing Luigi. Hey, bro! Looking for a star around here, huh? Want me to take over for a little while? That's Luigi. And yes, we can do that. Huh. So I think after doing the hint star, they give you the option to play as Luigi in this one. In this star mission of this galaxy. That's cool. Uh, so yeah. Let's see how Luigi deals with rock. Also, there's one type of alp. Now, pretty much back in this, well, even though I was pretty much talking until I just suddenly discovered that I can actually play as Luigi, so it wasn't that much big of a cut that I gotta make. That I gotta make. And, but I actually throw that coin off Galaxy. I'll be stupid. Well, thank you for the money that I don't need until later. Just to spoil it. Also, I think it's a bad idea to pick Luigi in this galaxy if they actually give you the option to. Because, I mean, there is a couple of ice physics here, and Luigi does slip. So with the combination of ice fi physics plus Luigi slipping equals a challenge. That I'm still happy to accept. Also, while pretty much getting these star chips, there's another thing that I like to show when it comes to the snow graphics of this game. Is that, and you can actually rock this only as Luigi and stuff. I mean, only, not only as Luigi, you can actually rock it with both brothers, but it's with the rock suit and stuff. And all you have to do is like, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. And all you have to do is just like roll, like, pretty much roll on the snow as Rock Mario or Rock Luigi, and, and the rock ball that Mario and Luigi form actually become that rock or Luigi. Uh, that Mario or Luigi form the rock that like either of them form will turn to like someone of a rock snowball and stuff. It, it actually does that. And well, yeah, that's something that I pretty much like about this game. That pretty much like they pretty much enhance everything in this game. The water, the ice. It looks so cool and shiny. It even reflects on Luigi. I mean. It's just all that great for this game. Like, its engine is just that great. Everything else is great because of the graphics and the details and the... I mean, just check out that Bowser back in the first mission. Like, it was completely just like Bowser with a statue that snow. It was that good. And, they did, and, like, the snow here is just so... So awesome and stuff with how they kind of made it like that and stuff. Proving to have a very good engine and a graphics and details of the snow. I mean, what I'm saying is that they made this game very beautiful. On how it works and how everything looks. I'm trying to explain. 
There's a star chip over there just to go back into the real deal game. And one of them might contain a star chip that just stupidly missed. Nope, just money. Money that I don't need. There's a star chip in the tree. Now clean up the dryers. There's the star chip. Now eat it. Okay, now. I think that's what Bowser will actually do. And this. And this Goomba statue actually contains the fifth one. First one if you actually ever go back in this. Now, can I actually bow for as rock? No, I missed! I was like going too fast. Okay, I gotta lie myself. Get out of the way, bunny. Get out of the way, big Sean. Before I hurt your A! Now, on this next planet of galaxy, everything is all white and snowy and stuff. Which pretty much really blocks your view. There's your checkpoint on, so just in case I kind of screw up a little. And like in this planet, it, they really block your view of everything and stuff. Like everything is like all white and snowy. Which, that's another thing I actually admire about this game when it comes to th because everything is like, like, this, the gra like the graphics of like the whiteness and the snowness is all awesome and stuff. Like, like it's all foggy and haze and stuff, but it, it's very, like the fog of it is just very good. I can say the snowy fog is just very good, but over in this pipe you can actually find three dice for either money, lives, or just losing your life. And just when I said I almost get the Bowser one, that sucks. Come on, one of them, one of them, money! <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, this is just so... This is just so beautiful of how it looks. And my reference to Daisy, actually. But yeah, it's just so good and stuff. Now, on this planet, actually. Hmm. Okay, now... You're just only going around in circles in this one. Checkpoint. I'm going around in circles in this one. Whereas, you just need to continue to go straight... And this dude. The wind and snow makes everything... The wind and snow makes everything white. That deep whoosh from here goes right through my head. Boy. It's either the deep... It's either the deep whoosh big song or the deep cush you actually have after drinking a lot. After, like, sleeping with your so-called desperate housewives. Your desperate housewives that is just desperate for your D. And after you say, clean up the smashes, homegirl. I mean, clean up the smashes, homegirl. And... And finish with your smashers. Now, there's actually the Luma Shop. Luma Lee, Luma Bop. Welcome to the Loom Shop. See me get grog right now. See me get grog right now. What? What? We were talking about Big Sean because of that stupid rabbit over... That stupid bunny over there, and even if I was to actually purchase something in the Luma shop, I got 9 star because I don't care for star bits. And I think I can actually handle this boss without the life extension. Now on this next planet the galaxy, yeah, you pretty much don't have to do nothing on this next planet. And this last star will actually take it to the last, but suddenly, the planet we just left is really the boss! So beady with a stupid face, and you push rip off. You see, rip off for Pokemon. Jeez. Okay, Celebi. No, not Celebi. Dark Eye. I mean, that face really rips off a Pokemon from that I cannot remember his freaking name. And while I'm trying to remember his name and getting polarized for it, I'm dead to one piece of my life, and I'm about to die. Maybe that life extension was important, just to be on the safe side, I'll just grab a couple of star bits. And I think these coins on him uh, is just in case you actually kind of 
don't have enough Starbase for the Luma Shop yet to damage before this boss fight. So they're pretty much giving a little health recovery before it. Which is quite nice. Now for this boss, really, is that you need to spin on his big red nose, as they're giving you hints about. And yeah, on his first, like, on his first hit, he'll actually get serious on you and stuff and try to, like, roll against you and stuff. Whereas, after a second hit, he rolls even faster and stuff. Basically, this boss is basically rock, I mean, roll a dillo without the rock Mario and stuff, so... Like, this boss is, is exactly like roll a dillo, I mean... Roll a dillo, but without the rock mushroom and stuff, so you actually gotta be careful with this one, since you can't, like, roll against this dude. And just when I'm down to one life, and I'm trying to get coins here before I kill myself! So yeah, this boss is exactly like that. Uh, come on, dude. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's quite hard to actually aim for that, that big red nose. Jeez, uh, let be the red nose torture. Coming to kill Luigi. He knows that you're Luigi. He's the one with the big red nose. And he's trying to kill for sake. And, to, and I'm down to one life. And now I lost all my lives. And that's it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. The Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, ki deer killed me. Let me get a whole lot of these star bits. Just in case. Well, there's not that much stops, just in case I actually die. I gotta do this one by the book. AK, kill you. AK, bop your red nose when you actually come towards me and stuff. Bop your red nose when you're trying to kill me at the side, which is actually the best way in order to tap this boss on his first two hits. And on the on this hit is just It's just all skill. And I almost had you there. That wasn't skill, that was torture. You torture me, young fellow. Damn, I thought I had you! Jesus goodness. So so fast! Oh, balls! And I think these snow rocks over here, like, infinitely spawn, and like, some of them pretty much infinitely spawn with coins in them. So I think that's a good way in order to heal your life, just in case you're pretty much out. Um, just when I said I did not find any coin. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's the one! Why, I throw myself! Jesus, dude's pissed. This dude's piss! Let's beat his A! Dang it! And now I'm down to one life already. Am I that worse at this? Uh, and my baby sister just, like, totally. Since I'm, like, babysitting her again. While my mom goes to work, my mom. And dude! Okay, can I grab a curse? Oh, my! Come on! If find some way in order to kill this dude while he's going fast, while at the same time being careful not to lose himself. Just like Eminem with Ryu. Uh, yep, I'm doomed. And the, thief's egg, and the thing that was trying to hide from him spawned a coin. Oh, come on! Balls! And, huh. At least I got enough for the star bit dude in the Uber shop. If I screw up a whole lot of times in this boss fight, I'll pretty much cut to my correct attempt because, yeah, these are some funny misses. Funny fails, but I really need to I really need to stop moving! That's a secret to not dying! So there's a coin. Finally, we killed your A! Finally, we secondly killed your A! And finally, you took a piece of my A. I'm running. Oh, that money! Oh, that money! Ow! My money! 
my honey. Oh, oh, dang it! Oh, that's a cool one waste. Unless I get it all damaged! Uh, yes! Booyah, you, <laughs> you son of a bee! Yeah! You got cream! I'm sorry. I'm just sorry for that very hardcore trash talk, but seriously, that dude was annoying. And after beating him, there's a star, as do we. And star. Galaxy complete. Ghost has appeared in Frosty Flake Galaxy after doing this as the Ouija. There's a bunch of balls! Hey, bro! More all over the place these days. Explore the universe. Next time you see me out there, talk to me and, uh, and let me leap. Let me leap into action, okay? Get you later, bro. Poop. I was actually supposed to say poop, but no. Oh, this. Oh, this. Of mail. Mario, I have a letter for you! This is just with that star buddy that I don't need! Thank you for the hint! Dude, I know pretty much in this planet, but the hint that I don't pretty much need because I know how to do. Because I practiced this. And I pretty much teach you guys how to do it, huh? Huh? And I'm breaking the fifth wall and who cares? Anyways, let's check out this hungry Luma! Who's only hungry for star so no... Calorie breaking suicidal obesity, just normal one. It's a normal one. Homicidal. Hey you! Yeah you! Got any tasty starbits I can stack on? I'm still pissed if he's doing that to me, dick. Jeez. I'm so hungry. Give me delicious starbits. I need to chew on one thousand, then I'll transform. So apparently that I got more than that, actually. And it's time for HOMICIDAL OBESITY! That's the stuff! Oh, I'm so full! I think I'm about to... TRANSFORM! <laughs> and there's your Galaxy of World 3! Which I'll pretty much show right now. AKA Beat Block Galaxy. Which gimmick? I mean, the gimmick of Bonus Galaxy right here, I freaking love. And, like, it's just so awesome, this gimmick. Because, like, it just shows how much more that they can pretty much do with this game. It shows a lot that this game can pretty much do. And, uh, there's only one star, it's called Step to the Beep. And, as the name implies, they change after like three beeps. Now the gimmick of this galaxy is that when it comes to a star called Step to the Beep, and when it comes to this little beep, little music with a specific beat as you're listening to, like what like the like these platforms pretty much like light up and beep at the rhythm of the music you're actually like of the rhythm of the music you're hearing of this galaxy. And once they pretty much hit three. They pretty much changed platforms as you can actually already see there. And yeah, that's pretty much the gimmick of the galaxy. Enemies can also change as well as you can see there. Like you see those Helma Goombas, and as the platform changes, they change into Octo Goombas and stuff. So that's also how this galaxy can also work. And I gotta say, this gimmick of this galaxy once again rocks! Because like, they even music of this game. They even use the awesomeness of the music of this game in, in order to like, create such platforming in this game that you pretty much don't expect other games to do. And it's that creative and awesome. And I just really praise it that much about this gal- about this game on this one specific galaxy. And while I'm praising about this galaxy's gimmick, I'm low of health. And these Octogumas just suddenly appear! In the Beat of Doom! Why? Should pretty much like head from it actually. No! I was trying to crush your head! 
I was trying to curse your freaking brain, you dummy! Excuse the language, Ultimate Clean. Excuse the language. <laughs> like an Antonio Capri song. Oh boy! Jeez. And when it comes to me actually practicing, practicing this awesome pick of a galaxy, even though like my audio is quite busted while recording, like even though my the, my game audio is quite crippled uh, for me to hear while recording, I can pretty much like hear the music of this quite well, and I can pretty much like know that the platforms is actually gonna change and stuff. So it's not much of a pain and stuff. I can actually rock this very well. And, even, and, and can even do speedrunning tactics of it. Like, if you know that it's gonna change and stuff, you can actually, like, just go in b b before it changes stuff. There's your one-up right there. If you actually, like, take this side. There's your comic core right there that I want to get while staying alive. Thank you very much. Why did I do that? I did to be. I wasn't feeling the hip-hop, y'all. <laughs> and I also wonder that I think the comic I think the cosmic queen, not the cock queen. She's a comic queen. That will be a very very dish female character, as I do say so myself, the comic queen. Like he'll he'll she'll just like randomly spawn out comets! Dude! Before he disappeared, he attacked Mario. With the jack. And I didn't lost five lives yet. But I think she can only come out after getting a checkpoint or something, so I'm not cons I'm not sure yet. Cause I never pretty much know the Kaiser Queen of this galaxy! Oh my gosh, that was close. You know what? Just forget about this. I need to really speed run this. If I can speed run this, I can possibly rock this. Like, just skip that green platform and stuff, and just like... I'm this, and booyah. You don't even have to worry about the beat of this, until I blow up frames! And blow up frames of my eyes almost cost me the game! And the duel! And this one-up that I want to get! Thank you. Jeez. Uh, let me just get through a whole of this BS. Oh, through a whole lot of this BS. BS. And I don't even need to actually like wait for the rhythm of that. Now, on this part of the planet, I actually want you to get like these five silver stars in order to like form the star. That's that's how to rock this part. And oh, I'm still alive! I'm still alive! Suck on that, you stupid Aunt Goomba! It's quite interesting. It's quite odd and interesting at the same time that the only enemies are just these Aunt Goombas and these Shell Goombas. Like, they should actually. Oh, screw you! That's what I get for insulting it. Fortunately, there's a checkpoint. So, I don't care. And I mean, this galaxy ain't all that threatening, even like. Even though I make moves of lives while I was talking about this guy and was praising it so much, like, there's a couple of one-ups in this galaxy and stuff, like, more than even one one-up. So, though you do lose a life, it's not all that threatening because it's, you're getting, like, one extra life if you go through this entire galaxy after dying, like, every time. And I don't care if I take a hit there because I'm just gonna take a hit so I actually go up here, get the last Silver Star, and BOOYAH! It switches, it, it turns into a real to a star. And after that, the beat stop. Yet the star stays shiny. Trippy! <laughs> Stay shiny, Trippy! Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? Oh, the agony of torture and stuff. So yeah, that's our last star for this episode. Got the cop medal, star bits, star bits, and Mario, I have a letter for you. Race, race, racing at Wild Glide Galaxy. Don't check it out. Don't check it out. Come on, don't wait, don't wait. Ooh, hey, 
So we pretty much got a challenge for a bonus star of Wild Glagasy! That I'll deal with next episode! Just what I did! That's it for this episode! Shite. So yeah, at the next episode, we're actually gonna be dealing with that Jabber Jabber dude from pretty much Wild Glide Galaxy in World 2. So we're pretty much gonna be backtracking a bit. Uh, also, continuing on to pretty much the. While uh, also continuing on to World 3 with a new galaxy. And also, perhaps pretty much finishing World 3 while. And pretty much perhaps finishing World 3 while pretty much taking down that dude that, that just challenged us for the Bullet Star of Wild Guy Galaxy. We're going to be doing all that next episode, so it's going to be so awesome. So if you pretty much like this episode and, in, and excited for the next episode, subscribe to my channel, Big Yellow Big Yellow Big Yellow Button. I'm forced to insult the English all of a sudden. That's stupid. That you're forced to insult them. That's like a pearlism. Or some other ism or whatever. And uh, subscribe to my channel, Big Le Big Yellow Button. Like this video. Watch my other videos. If you're satisfied, watch them too. And I'll see you guys in the next. A.K.A. the next episode. This has been Ultimate Clayton, and this has been Super Mario Galaxy 2. Take, take care, y'all.